Welcome to Cells to Symptoms, the case-based way of learning pathology. In this video, we're going to consider thrombosis and the risk factors for this process as outlined by Verkhoff's triad. Thrombosis as a term, when used in a pathological context, has a fairly specific meaning. It may be defined as solid material from the constituents of blood, which form in a vessel and during life. So to qualify as thrombus, we have to have a process which is in vivo, that is during life, and intravascular. It's important, having discussed a definition for thrombosis, that we contrast solid material from the constituents of blood, which forms outside a vessel or after death, which we term clot rather than thrombus. In terms of the factors which potentiate thrombosis, these can be described by what's known as Verkhoff's triad. Let's represent that as a triangle around the term thrombosis. And the three factors are firstly, alterations in the flow of blood. Secondly, alterations in the vessel wall. And lastly, alterations in the coagulability of blood. We have discussed in previous videos the process of atheroma and it's clear that the atheromatous plaque as it develops leads to both alterations in the vessel wall and because the plaque intrudes into the lumen of the vessel alterations in flow. So clearly atheroma as a process is a potentiator of thrombosis and we've seen that in the complications of this process. Alterations in blood coagulability include things such as simply dehydration, and also more uh, rare conditions such as hyperglobulinemias. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it both interesting and informative.